All right, guys, for today's lesson, we are learning to simplify algebraic expressions. Our objective is I can simplify algebraic expressions using order of operations. Looking at number one, it says simplify 6a plus 3 minus 2a plus 5. We're going to look over here at this math note, and it says when adding and subtracting algebraic terms with no brackets, always work left to right. So when there's no brackets, we always work left to right. So we know PEMDAS. That we have parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. In this one right here, we have no parentheses, we have no exponents, we have multiplication because there's six is being multiplied by a, but we can't do anything about it because we don't know what the value of a is. We don't have division, but we do have adding and we do have subtracting. And when there's no brackets, we always work left to right. So we are gonna try and find like terms. So we're gonna see, so six a is a like term to two a, and then three, is a like term to 5a. So we're just gonna write those little notes. So five and three are like terms, and 2a and 6a are like terms because they have the same variable. However, we do have to note that 6a and three cannot be like terms neither can a and five cannot be like terms because they do not share the same variable. So they have to share the same variable in order to be like terms. So we are going to look at our pink highlighted ones first. So we have 6a minus 2a. You always want to take whatever the operation is in front of your second term. So we have 6a minus 2a. And just as we did the past couple days, we are going to subtract our coefficients because they are like terms. So 6a minus 2a equals 4a. We gotta finish writing out the rest of our, of our terms. So we still have that adding sign. And I'm gonna write the rest of the equations in purple of the terms because those are the other two like terms we have. So we have three plus five. So again, now we add our two like terms right here that we have. So three plus five equals eight. And we have to finish writing out our previous term, which was four a and our adding sign. And now since these are not like terms because they do not share the same variable, this is our final and simplified answer. Moving on to number two, it says find the distance from point A to point B. We're gonna look at a math note from over here and it says commutative property, property of addition, two numbers can be added in any order. So as long as they're all being added together, they can be added in any order as long as they have the same like terms. So we have A, and our other like term that is a like term to a is 2a. And we have no other like terms because we have a four and we have a three. They do not have the same variable. So we are gonna look at four is our other term and four's like term is three. 
So if we were to write this out, we would have a plus four plus two a plus three. And we know that we just figured out that four and three are like terms and a and two a are like terms. So these two are our like terms because they share the same variable and these two are like terms because they do not have a variable. So now we just need to add our like terms together and their coefficients. So we are going to do a plus 2a. And we, lear we, we learned and remembered this week that whenever there's no coefficient in front of a variable, it is always 1. So 1a plus 2a equals 3a. We have to finish writing out the rest of our terms, which is adding. And we have 4 plus 3. I wrote that in the wrong color. Let me change that so we're not getting confused. So we have 4 plus 3. And now we add these like terms together. So 4 plus 3 equals Seven. Finished writing out the rest of our, equa our equation we had up here. So our simplified answer would be 3a plus 7. Because they are not like terms. They do not contain the same variables. That's as simplified we can get it. All right, we're gonna move on to our practice questions. We are gonna look at 4x plus six minus three x. So I'll help you solve, find the like terms. We know that four x and three x are like terms because they both have the same variable. And six is its own like term because it does not have a variable. So go ahead and stop the video and solve this and come back and we'll see if we have the same answer. So if we have 4x, we always add the, we always do whatever operation is in front of our term, to the left of our term. So it's gonna be subtracting 3x. So 4x minus 3x equals x. And then we have to finish writing off the rest of our equation, which is our last term is six, and it was adding. So our final answer would be x plus six, because it cannot be simplified anymore. Looking at number two, we're gonna find our like terms. So we have b plus six plus b plus five, so we know b is a like term to b because we have the same variable. And we know that six is a like term to five because they do not share the same variable as b. So go ahead and stop this video and go ahead and try this answer and come back and we'll see if we have the same answer. So we are gonna do b plus b so b plus b, we gotta remember that there's always a one in front of the in front of a variable that doesn't have a coefficient. So we have b plus b equals two b. We have the rest of our terms to write, which is adding. And we have six plus five. We know that these two are like terms because they share they do not share the same coefficient as the other two. So six plus five equals 11. We're going to rewrite the rest of our terms that we had, which was adding 2b. 
and this would be our final answer because they do not share the same terms, so they are considered as unlike terms. Moving on to number three, it says simplify 5s plus 9 minus 3s. So we're going to find our like terms. We know that 5s is a like term to 3s because they share the same variable. And 9 does not have a like term because it does not contain the same variables as 5s and 3s. So those are considered as unlike terms. So now we have to solve this. So if you're go ahead and stop the video, go ahead and try and answer this question and come back and we'll see if they have the same answer. So we can do 5s. We always take the operation that's before our term that we are comparing it to. So we are subtracting 3s. So 3s, 5s minus 3s equals 2s. And we still have our last term, which was adding 9. And these two are considered as unlike terms, so we cannot simplify it anymore. So our final answer would be 2s plus 9. Moving on to number four, it wants us to simplify x plus 5x minus 6x. So we want to find all of our, our like terms. So x is a like term to 5x because they have the same variable. And 6x is also a like term. So I want you to stop the video, go ahead and solve number four, and then come back and we will see if you have the same answer. So we can do x plus 5x. So x plus 5x equals 6x. And then it wants us to subtract 6x from this term. Forgot the x. So 6x minus 6x equals 0. And we learned on Tuesday that whenever we subtract a term that has the same coefficient from one another, that the answer will always be zero. And you do not need the variable. I'm going to circle this one. <laughs> 